Hey everybody, Crazy Creek, and back again with another video today. In today's video, I'm doing a video on my pet vinegaroon. Now, the reason they're called vinegaroons is actually because they have this thing on them. I don't know, you should be able to see. They have like a tail, kind of, it looks like a tail on them, this right here. And when they feel threatened, they will actually secrete a liquid that smells like vinegar. It's actually called a whip, the tail. Now vinegarines can be found throughout parts of California, Texas, and Indiana. Now for feeding, vinegarines usually can eat like two to three small crickets a week when they're babies. Then when they're adults, you might want to give them four to six crickets a week. The water, I usually just spray down the cage about three times a day. I don't have a water dish because I actually bought this vinegar in with the cage and it didn't come with the water dish. So I don't really know if I should add one. So if you think I should add one, if you could leave it down in the comments down below, it'll help me out a lot. Because I'm thinking about just putting a little bottle cap in there for water so he can drink from a dish but usually he drinks off the sides and I spray him down multiple times a day so he should be fine Vinegarines when they're babies can live in a critter keeper like this this is a medium sized critter keeper that I have a, this one in this vinegaroon in he does just fine in there but when they are a little bit bigger when they are adults you'll want to move them to something like a 10 to 15 gallon aquarium for bedding you're going to want to have eco earth or sphagnum moss some kind of bedding like that about probably about three to four inches deep as they like to burrow you can also add some sphagnum moss if you have a problem keeping the humidity up because they need real high humidity on top of the eco earth then you're going to want to have a couple spots for it to hide under so i have two pieces of cord bark and then there's like a little piece of bark here and and then i spray down the cage three times a day to keep the humidity high and he's been doing just fine now for size Vinegaroons will grow approximately 6 inches, including their whip and their pinchers. So from the tip of their pinchers to the tip of their whip, they should be around 6 inches in length. Now for the lifespan, lifespan will kind of depend on how well you take care of them. If you take real good care of them, they can live anywhere from 10 to 15 years. And some will live a little shorter, a little longer. So it just kind of depends. Also on the vinegaroon itself. Now for handling. It's never really recommended to handle invertebrates. Although if you do need to handle it like to clean its cage or something. You're just going to want to kind of stick your hand down in there and gently just let it crawl up on you like sort of like this now just be careful that it doesn't shoot you with vinegar I have got shot with vinegar before. See? That's him. I'm gonna put him back in his cage. Now for spraying, I like to use this spray bottle right here, this mister. You pump. A few times 
And then what you want to do is you want to take the handle and you're going to want to change the knob. I think it's loose now. So you're going to want to tighten it up. And then you push this button right here. And I do that to spray him down. So yeah. Now I hope you like this video. Now if you'd like to see any more videos of my vinegaroon or any of my other animals, leave them down in the comments down below. And if you have any suggestions for any upcoming videos, if you could leave those down in the comments down below as well. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave those down in the comments down below. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Until next time, take care.